Hello everyone who's watching the channel. As you may have noticed, I have done a lot of changes to the channel. Got a whole new layout, new video layout. Got all that done and then my computer crashed. I had to reset it all the way back to the factory defaults. Had, I'm still trying to get it all the way back together. I used my desktop to get TNA up yesterday. This video was supposed to get up yesterday. I have a lot of different things that I want to talk about, mainly my stuff, not really much wrestling news. You may have saw the news that I post. I want to know your comments on what you think of the new layout design that I have. I think it looks really good, but you guys might think differently. If you guys do, please post and I will change it. Well, boring week for wrestling today. As you may have known, I kind of got going into WWE more. I'm trying to recognize them because now that TNA's on Thursday, it's kind of been boring lately. Not really a whole lot to do. So, yeah, Raw got the new general manager. Batista screwed up saying John Lena. Batista quits. Um, Randy Orton won a match. Randy Orton, Edge, John Cena, and Sheamus in the Fatal 4-Way at Fatal 4-Way. I'm probably going to watch that out of pure boredom. TNA had some good matches. Jeff, uh, Mr. Anderson versus AJ Styles. Mr. Anderson still acting like a face, which is still really weird. But, you know, it's their idea. They wanted to do it. Um, TNA didn't really have a lot this week. Um, mostly, I don't even know. Most of my new things that I have, I have a little calendar here. I'll go through the days of what I have that I will be posting. I'll probably post up more probably later on as I get more ideas for different segments I can do. So, Sunday, it will be Wrestler of the Week. Monday, Match of the Week. Tuesday is TFW. Wednesday is Top 10. Thursday is Moment of the Week. Friday... is my vlog that I'm doing on Saturday here. Um, TFW pay-per-view once a month, and then TNA Impact I will have posted every week. And then today is TFW, but like I said, I'm still working on my computer, so that might be up later on tonight. I will have it up today. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I will be starting posting um, as of now, like, Wrestler of the Week will be all of last week, and Match of the Week will be including Sunday. And then, yeah, it'll just balance itself out after this. So, Thursday is, um, Impact kind of gets screwed this week. Most likely Moment of the Week next week might be the NXT winner. I don't know. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. As you saw, my top ten video first was Wrestlers. I thought that one was well. I haven't really gotten a lot of comments still. I wish I could get more comments, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess, is what they say, don't they? Um, hopefully my face doesn't turn, like, all white again in my other videos. It did that, and it looked really weird. I haven't been feeling too well, so sorry for my scruffy look. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you that, yeah, I'm still here. Not really a whole lot to talk about. Orlando Jordan rumors are going on about Orlando Jordan in the back saying that he is hitting on some guys and girls, but they're just rumors and you're always told not to believe them, right? Anyways, moving on. Um, Rick Flair in his newest like blog thing, he answered the question about coming out of retirement. He said that it's not his idea to come out of retirement. It was Vince's idea. Or, for him to go into retirement. It was Vince's idea for him to retire. So, it wasn't really his decision. And he said, I already have one retirement. I'm not retiring again. It would be more likely that I fall off the top rope and turn to Ash than retire. So, yeah. I was kind of expecting that coming from him. Never retire thing. Most likely, they're probably going to be doing a lot of other things. You know, it's going to be really weird for WWE soon, because they're going to be losing all their top stars, like Undertaker, Triple H. All of them are going to be going away. They're big ones. And what are we going to be left with for Raw? John Cena. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that just shows more that 
TNA is going to be a dominant brand in the future. Probably not right now because they're having a lot of issues. Hopefully they can come out of them. They're complaining about having to do roster cuts, but yet they're going to be taking people in from Raw. They're killing all the TNA stars to bring in all these ex-Raw stars. So TNA is becoming Raw, and it's not TNA anymore. TNA was something to watch because they had all the older wrestlers, or they had new wrestlers that no one's ever seen. They did good because of that, but now they're a major brand. They're trying to get all these top star names, and it's just killing them. Hulk Hogan's killing them. It's just TNA's been really annoying me lately. Uh, SmackDown put on a good show. Undertaker returned. Mal Hardy got suspended indefinitely. Not a whole lot for WWE again. Um, so, that's pretty much all I want to do today. Um, just keep watching. I am at 61 last time I checked. I don't know if it changed. 61 of 100 subscribers before June 30th. That is in one month and one day. So, 30 subscribers, invite your friends, tell them that I'm here, yada, yada, yada. I will try to get my videos back up and going, all my news videos, all that stuff. But yeah, so, just, yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, they always say SSDD, same shit, different day. So, that's all I have. Goodbye, people.